we're at the bottom of page two on the final exam review, and we're going to do numbers 11 and 12. Number 11, um, I kind of ran into the picture for my previous problem, but we're going to use this picture here to find the length of PQ. So we want the length from P to Q. We don't know what that is. We want to find it. What we do know is the total length of PR, which is 38.3. And we know this um, length of QR is 12.6. Well, if I know the total and I know this section, what I can do is I can subtract this section from the total to get what's left over, which will be the length of PQ. So I'm going to take my total and I'm going to subtract 12.6 to get the leftover amount, which will be the length of PQ. So 38.3 minus 12.6 tells me that the length of PQ is 25.7. In number 12, we need to find the distance between point Z, which is at negative 1, 3, and point M, which is at 8, negative 7. So with distance, we're finding um, the distance or length between two points. We're going to use the distance formula. This will be given to you on your formula sheet. You just need to know how to use it. So I always recommend that people start by labeling your points. So my first point, I'm going to label x1, y1. My second point, I'm going to label x2, y2. And then I'm going to plug my numbers into my distance formula. Okay. So the distance between these two points, x2 is 8 minus x1 is negative 1. Watch out, there's a minus and negative there. y2 is negative 7 minus y1, which is 3. I'm going to do what's inside parentheses first. Okay. Remember, minus and negative, that's the same thing as adding. Okay. So 8 plus 1 is 9. Keep it in parentheses. Negative 7 minus 3 is negative 10. Keep it inside parentheses. Now I'm going to square each of these numbers. So 9 squared is 81. Negative 10 squared is positive 100. I'm going to add up those numbers. 81 plus 100 is 181. And I'm going to take the square root on my calculator. So to remind you how to do that, remember we're going to hit the second key. And then we're going to hit the x squared button to get our square root symbol. And then I'm going to type in 181. They don't tell us what place value to round to. So it's kind of hard to see. This says 13.45. I'll round to the hundredths place. <laughs> 